Okay, I want to do a quick video for you guys. My purple cush here. About caterpillars. Now you see that leaf right here. Yeah, look, that's what they do to your plants. And then when it's budding, they get inside your buds and poop and make bud rot. You don't want caterpillars at all. And if you look right there, here's one of the bastards. Trying to blend in like a stick on the plant. I'm going to grab him up and smush him. There he is. <clears throat> no more eating my plant. This is what you want to do with your caterpillars. See them? Smush. Dead caterpillar. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be going to get some neem seed meal from DTE down to earth. Same brands I used for my soil amendment. <clears throat> I'm going to foiler spray with a tiny bit of Dawn soap to help it stick to the leaves tonight. And I'm also going to get the safer brand Caterpillar spray. I'm not putting up with these bugs. No more. Done with these bugs eating my plants. All I've been doing this morning has been looking for caterpillars. And then, oh, you see that little bastard right there? Right, tip my finger. That's an aphid. There's just a fat, big aphid. I, I can't barely catch them because they're fast. Flick them as soon as I can. Okay, look more caterpillar damage so there I know that there's one around I'm gonna be looking for them as soon as I find them smush you do not want caterpillars in your garden because imagine that as your buds they're just eating and pooping inside your bud burrow right up in there Not seeing them yet. I'm gonna find them. Look at this mother. Little locust looking thing. As you can see, I'm getting some pre uh, flower every once in a while. You can kind of see it. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can focus in. There they are, the little buds. It's over there on my uh, wedding cakes as well. It's not budding time yet, but it's close. One more month. Oh, look, a lightning bug. I'm not sure if lightning bugs eat my plants. I'm going to have to research them. I actually like lightning bugs. Okay, let me show you low stress training mixed with topping, alright? This branch right here is supposed to be a top, alright? So if you follow that branch, see it? Where it V's out, you can tell. Right there, right there, right here, and all along you got more bud spots, more branches growing on it. And this whole canopy is going to be tops, all of it. I'm going to top it one more time. And then that's going to be it. I'm probably going to do it next week. Because you can tell. The girls are getting as big as the cages are going to be. So I need to top them one more time. Put the top caging on. Right up here. And then we'll be set to go. Now this plan over here, this wedding cake, I didn't get to tie down yet. Yesterday it started raining hard. The results of topping and low stress training. See what I would do is I'm going to be pulling this down. 
like this way so that these branches right here grow up just like that or like that somewhat like this because this one hasn't recovered from the pulling yet low stress training but they're starting to grow through their cages as you can tell At the end of July <sighs> their growth is crazy and what I mean growth is all right you come down here see this lower branch right in the middle right there follow this one up and then look at these branches on it look how long this branch is each branch is gonna at least probably have an aider when it's down there now these ones I just keep for my root system mainly these branches down here these four usually because I have cut the first three for my root system nice healthy root system it's starting to rain again now these are my wedding cakes wedding cake wedding cake wedding cake now this one gets the least amount of sun out of them all can tell it's still got a nice thick heavy stock it's not growing as strong as the others it's not as bushy and filled out as I would say it's still got its size see uh, they're about five feet at least this is about five feet and this one's taller than me now at least by maybe half an inch or at least same height as me, it seems like. Definitely going to have to top this one. You can see right in there. That V right there in the middle. It started a new top going to the right. And to the left is the main top. And then on the other side it's doing the same over there. And you just want to keep pulling them down. And then... Soon enough, I'll be pulling these branches down. And then you can see that the branches have branches. Let's see if I can find you one of those. Right here, actually. You see this branch? Right in the middle. Follow this one up. And then you got that branch that's on it. And now it's growing its own branches. Low stress and topping. You want to do a mix of them both. Pulling down your plants is a must, especially for outdoor. Otherwise, you're going to have trees as big as your house. It's happened to me before, but back then I didn't have no neighbors. No one to worry about. Whew, these wedding cakes are looking great. Sorry when I stop talking, I'm looking for caterpillars and bugs that I need to smush. But as you can tell, bugs are eating away my plants. So I'm going to start spraying this weekend, tonight. I'm going to pick up the supplies today. I'm going to hit a hydroponic store. I'm going to tie down this plant today. All these branches. Except for the very lower ones. I'm not going to tie these down. I might tie this one down. Just how, how much height it has already. But the stupid lower branches I won't. And then this branch down here. This branch I'm growing for my buddy. I don't even want this branch. Look how skinny it is. You see that down there? Look at its stock. The branch is almost completely worthless. The only reason why it's good right now is for the roots. Yeah, look at this. Look how big these fan leaves are. And these were the bottom ones. They're starting to get their use done. So you pull them real quick. Once they start getting that discoloration down there, pull them. So that the plant doesn't waste its time and energy on them. You just want to keep doing simple, easy methods like this. And you will get giant tweeds. Tree weeds. 
as my buddy would put it, my business partner and my friend. We trying to build a dream, a nice farm, nice happy life. But I gotta say, this purple kush and that wedding cake are my by far, by far favorite plants in the garden this year. I mean, look at this stock. Look at that. Pull down useless fan leaves down here. Clear it up a little. Gonna need some more airway. But yeah, this is a July update for you guys. I'll show you some more later and I'll show you how I spray and mix my spray. Oh, I did change something. Check out the White Widow though. I changed my compost. That White Widow is definitely taller than me. I changed my compost. I'm using a different sugar sweet as I learned that my sugar is not enough. It doesn't have the carbohydrates my microorganisms need. Micro uh, microbes. Come on in over here. All my tools and stuff I use. I am only using this. It was 50 bucks. Quick look at the ingredients for you. But yep, this is what I'm using to feed my microbes now. And this is actually where I start my plants. Right in this room. So every year this is where they start. But I'm going to go pick up the neem seed. DTE. Down to earth. See it down there? 100% natural organic is what I'm trying to do. I don't want no chemicals, no additives, no nothing, but what comes naturally in the earth. Let's go back out here. So I did about a cup worth of that for my 32 gallon of the microbe feeding. And this is how about how big it looks. Nice amount. Nice coloring. Gotta fix that. I'm using the Eco Plus 4, I believe. It's not too loud. But then again, I have this outside, so I'm not worried about the noise. Need to fill up. Yep, I need to fill up on my water. Dechlorinate that after I finish my compost tea in a couple more hours it has to go. And then I'm going to be feeding and spraying today and probably putting my cameras up. We'll see. But I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please ask. Message me, whatever it takes. I'm here to help you guys. Knowledge is power.